Today, I'll teach you how to test a high-speed Schottky diode with just a multimeter. So guys, this is a high-speed Schottky diode, not a transistor, not a MOSFET. If this diode is failed, the entire motherboard will stop working. So guys, welcome to the episode number 28, where you gonna master 3 pin or integrated Schottky diode. So let's get started. But guys, don't forget that this video, as all videos, are made based on your comments and your questions. That's why I have decided to start testing components based on your comments. You get to choose what I test next. Just leave your suggestion in the comments and the component that gets the most mentions will be the one I test in the next video. I am reading all your comments so don't hesitate to share your ideas. And please, if you enjoy these videos and want to support my work, the best way to say thank you for me is by liking and sharing the video. It really helps a lot. So guys, let's learn about electronics together at a high level, one component at a time. So before starting this episode, which component should I test next? Please enter comments. So guys, as always, this video will be divided in two parts, a theory part and a practical part. So let's begin without wasting time with the theory part. So guys, of course, for the Schittke diodes, it's not normal. It's not like other diodes that we find in the input and in the bridge rectifier. Of course, the Schittke diode could be a three terminal IC or a normal big one Schottky diode. Basically, those diodes are high speed diodes. Means, for example, you cannot replace a normal Schottky diode with another diode from the input. No, it will fail instantly because those diodes are fast and the diodes in the input are not fast. So in terms of frequency. So guys, first let's break down this reference. What is exactly this reference means? So the first two letters we have SB means Schottky barrier. Then we have F10 means 10 amps. After that we have 60 means 60 volts max. This is reverse voltage. After that we have C means common cathode and dual anode. So guys, this kind of diodes are commonly used in laptop chargers, DC to DC converters, fast switching power supplies, AC and PS, solar charge controllers, TVs, washing machine, refrigerator, boards, etc. Very common Schottky diode. That's why guys, I advise you to watch this video and do not miss any moment in order to understand 100% how to test this common and very used Schottky diodes. Now guys, I have a question, a very important question. Why we use frequently Schottky diodes? So for three reasons, because this is a very low forward voltage drop, means more efficient. Fast recovery time, great for high frequency switching. And of course, less heat compared to standard diodes. Now we reach the most important question, how to test this circuit diode. Here basically we have SBF1060C model, but the same working principle for all three terminals should get diodes. So the tools needed, we will need just a multimeter with the diode mode here. So guys, we have to locate the pinout. So basically this is the pin number one or anode one. 
here we have a camel cathode and here we have anode too and of course if you pay attention to the schematic here guys we have here anode and camel cathode and we have the second anode over here so guys let's select the diode mode as you can see in the multimeter after i put the black dot in the cathode i should get a low drop voltage okay so i will get here about 100 200 or in some multimeter you can get 0 0.1 0 0.2 like this okay so red probe here in anode one black probe in the cathode let's see okay we get about 140 okay guys 140 so now if i reverse probes means what means the black probe here in the anode one okay and the red probe in the cathode i should get open line as you can see guys okay open line the same thing guys between the cathode and anode two if i put the red probe here in the anode two okay and the black probe in the cathode i should get a low drop voltage about 130 or in the middle or, or you can get 0.1 volt or 0.2 volt a low drop voltage so this is basically what differentiates the short key diode from a normal diode here for example guys those are normal diode look to the multimeter if we check for example this one here we will get a high drop voltage about 300 but short key diode always we get a low reading as you can see or drop voltage so if we reverse the probes again the same for this side okay the black probe in the anode two the red probe in the cathode as you can see up line we get up line please remember if you get a short like this in both direction or just in one direction it shows means the diode is shorted and if you get open in both directions means the diode is broken or damaged guys here is some important tips and highlights that you should remember if any diode is shorted it will affect the entire power rail and you will get a dead board second replacing it with a normal diode will cause voltage drop and the heat and the diode will be damaged failed instantly all third always test out of circuits if possible fourth add thermal paste or proper heat sinking like this one when replacing never use a short key diode without the heat sink so guys if you have either replaced a short key diode drop a comment what was it false and if you want me to test a specific component next just type it below and i'll include it in the next video and please help the channel by liking and sharing this video with your friends so guys thank you very much i hope that you understand a little bit about how to test a three terminal short key diode so what is very important is that please always avoid to replace a short key diode a dead short key diode with a normal diode this is very important and please don't forget that our challenge is to reach a 1000 compound testing to do so i need your support please the best way to support me and to thank me is by liking and sharing the video with others it really helps a lot so guys thank you very much and see you with another component